peanut butter on rye bread toast and a side of apples and pears. Bon appetit! Can you guys see Carl in the background? I don't know how to make this look aesthetic. I'm really sorry. It looks ugly, but it tastes good. So I just came back from school and before I go home, I just, I saw this view as I was driving and I literally had to park somewhere just to go over here and film it. I've been walking for like 15 minutes to get this footage for you guys. So yeah, better appreciate it. the prettiest part you guys there was this like gorgeous little street that i really wanted to stop on but there was nowhere to park so i'm gonna figure out how to park there because you guys need to see this i need to document it for my memories take that stupid shirt off and put something else on joke <laughs> once opened consume within two days i think i'm gonna consume that in two days okay so for lunch today i made myself a little appetizer galore i have some vietnamese inspired spring rolls so i use carrots zucchini and a little bit of spring onions then i have a salad with avocado radishes and sauerkraut and then i also have some miso soup with seaweed and spring onions over top of my salad i'm just gonna put a little bit of some lemon juice i don't really like to have sauces because they can get a little too crazy as i pull up this sauce so i'm gonna be having the samyang hot chicken flavor sauce which surprisingly is plant-based even though it says it has chicken in it i'm just gonna put like a teeny bit not a lot Read it and weep. Mmm. Why did I do that? I left the middle exposed. Let's try the salad. Mmm. This is good. I normally wouldn't have sauerkraut. This is actually my first time having sauerkraut on a salad and damn that just transforms the salad i'm not having a salad again without sauerkraut mm -mm, this is good
for dinner tonight, I made some Dongjangjjae. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a Korean stew. And it has chilies, tofu, Korean soybean paste, zucchini, potatoes. Also, I made some rice on the side. So for breakfast today, I'm having apple, cinnamon, oatmeal with a little bit of peanut butter, chia seeds, and flax seeds. This is like my comfort breakfast. Let me bring this down. Mm. It tastes like a peach. Peach? It tastes like an apple pie. Oh. I have a meeting right now, so I'm gonna go eat <laughs> by my computer. lunch today I'm having leftover of that soup that I made last night and then I'm having this I don't know why I just like made this little concoction that I don't know if it's gonna taste good together or not but it's zucchini sauerkraut green onions rice and a little bit of soy sauce so let's dig in this is pretty much just tofu at this point <laughs> okay let's try It's not bad, but it's weird. So for my snack, I'm gonna have peanut butter on toast. Mm. I might have another one of these. This is so good. I'm really stumped what to have for dinner right now because I'm genuinely not hungry at all. Like I think that second piece of peanut butter toast, that was it for me. So I don't know what to eat. Because I don't want to force myself to eat just for the sake of eating. But it's not good to skip meals. I think I'm just going to have like a really basic salad. Maybe some sauerkraut again because <laughs> it expires in a couple days. Chefs do it where they like. Oh, 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 yeah! <laughs> oh, I can't get it off. There we go. Let's get rid of all the brownie stuff. Okay, this is the ugliest salad I think I've ever made. Like, it's just not cute. What the f over top, I'm just gonna put a little bit of lemon drizzle. Whatever I can't finish, like if I actually am eating this and I don't really feel hungry, I'm just gonna save it for lunch tomorrow, but I'll see how it go. So here's my really ugly looking salad. I'm pretty sure it's the carrots that's doing it. It just looks like a bunch of sweet potato fries. We got carrots, red onions, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, avocado, and then drizzled with this lemon juice. No, you've spoiled it with your dirty hands. Please stop, I am not eating it. Again. 
Hello everyone. Ooh. We're all in this together. Mm -hmm. I've already started to eat it out of the bowl because I'm just so hungry right now. Breakfast today, I'm having some guilty free pancakes. So these don't have any eggs in it, doesn't have any milk. It's only oats, bananas, cinnamon, a little dash of salt, and oat milk. And then over top, I have some raspberries and I drizzled it with honey, which isn't plant-based, but I have some left over in my cupboard, so I thought I'd use it. Mmm. Very delicious but very healthy, very healthy tasting. This is actually my first time using the oats instead of the flour, and I think I prefer flour. It's just the oats add like a little extra health into it that I don't really like, so stick to flour, but oats are definitely healthier for you. And then I have my coffee in my little sassy Carl cup. So today for lunch, I'm having the Samyang. Is it Samyang or Sanyang? I could probably check, but I'm too lazy. My class is about to start anyways. Um, these are the spicy noodles that taste freaking delicious, but they're really hot. Oh, look at that. Mmm. So hot, but so good. Oh, that's when you know it's spicy. Spicy is when I start to hiccup. So for my cheat meal this week, I'm having some Subway. I just got this delivered like two minutes ago. I'm so excited because they recently came out with this new vegan menu. So this is all plant-based everything and I'm so excited. So let's open it. I had lectures all day today and I'm just like done. So if I look like not cute, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, is this the foot long? Damn, that's huge. I don't remember the last time I had Subway. Mmm, it smells so good. So I got the veggie meatball with mozzarella cheese, which is vegan, and some lettuce on tiger bread. Got some wedges on the side. Got two vegan chocolate chip cookies and a Pepsi. Quickly try this for you guys on camera and then I'm gonna sit down and watch Green Planet. That new show with David Attenborough, I've been so excited to watch it, but I just haven't yet. Hmm. It's like, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. It's like Subway, you know? Yeah, I'd say they did pretty good. Hmm. Hold up, I'm gonna pause this for a second. I'm gonna try these vegan double chocolate chip cookies. I've never tried a vegan cookie before, but I can, oh, I know that's not true. Oreos are vegan, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh. Oh my God, I'm so glad I got two. Yum. You would not tell the difference. Like this is so good. Subway did it right. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that. Mm. Mm. I'm in heaven right now. So for breakfast today, I made myself a tofu scramble with turmeric, cumin, paprika, broccoli, green onions, spinach, mushrooms, and a side of my homemade kimchi. So it's been fermenting for about a week now, and I want to try it and see if it tastes good. Mm. The kimchi is really, really sour. 
Also, I forgot to mention to you guys, every morning I have supplements because when you're eating plant-based, you can kind of like miss out on things. So I have a Brazil nut, which sounds really weird, but it has your full intake, actually 462% of your intake of selenium. So I take this every single day, like a little multivitamin. So from Helen and Barrett, I take this supplement. So it has all of your vitamin B12, all of your iron, vitamin A, E, all that healthy stuff, vitamin D. Oh, it has a good amount of calcium in there. And then I'll also have these, which are the vegan omega-3. So instead of it being from fish, it's from algae. Algae? Algae, I don't know how to say that word. It smells like the ocean. So for lunch today, I'm having a stir fry with bok choy, carrots, sesame oil, soy sauce, and rice noodles. So I just wanted to use up some of the dying, expiring food in my fridge, which was the bok choy. And normally when I have stir fries, I would have like some sort of protein with it, like tempeh or tofu. But because I had a bunch of tofu this morning, I just didn't really feel like it. Oh. I don't even know if I'm holding chopsticks right. So hard. not least we have this lentil curry which i know i didn't really make it look that cute but it tastes delicious i'll link it down below it's a recipe by another youtuber called rainbow plant life she makes like really good plant-based recipes yummy i hope you guys can see me okay I'm gonna be having this for my dessert. It's called the Free From Kitchen. It's a vegan dark chocolate. To be honest, this doesn't taste very good at all. It's dairy-free, gluten-free, and wheat-free. <laughs> I like to normally get the Lint 70% chocolate. That's also vegan, and it actually tastes good. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this, watch some more Green Planet, and then go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got some inspirations for some food. Even if you don't eat plant-based, I hope you got like some cool recipes that you can try at home. And yeah, I'll see you guys on another video next Thursday. Wait, I said that wrong. I'll see you guys on my next video next... We know. I'll see you guys next Thursday for another video. Love you guys. Bye!